Hey everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fangor, here to review the final episode, episode 12, of Kiznaiver. Trigger. Good job, Trigger. Trigger. That was great. Trigger, you did such a good job. What a fantastic ending. And what a fantastic series. I'm going to give this series, accumulating for everything, animation, music, characters, plot, everything, a 9. Now, I feel like I should give it a 10, and I might when I think it over more, but right now, as of this review, I'm going to give it a 9. It's a very close 10, though, but I feel like there's a reason I shouldn't give it a 10, but I really want to. But for say sake, you know, might as well say it's a 10, because what a great series. Now, should you watch it? Oh, heck yes, go out. If you have not seen Kiz Niver, and you're watching this review, just if you want to, like, know if you should watch it, go watch it. Just go. Watch Kiznaiver. What a great series. I really enjoyed this one. So, in the final episode, we get the reasoning behind everything, and Nori-chan is saved. She's not going to have the world connected by the Kizna system. Thank goodness, because that would be bad. And... Katsuhira saves her, and there's no more keys in that system. They're going to turn the whole facility into, like, this park or whatever, and everybody's doing well with their relationships as friends and possibly turning into lovers. But, man, just what a great series. I really loved this one. Like, I didn't think it was going to be so great because when it started off, it wasn't like your typical, you know, Kill a Kill or Gurren Lagann series that these people are known for. You know, it wasn't over the top. It wasn't, you know, just crazy and stuff, ha crazy stuff happening. It was more of a, you know, almost laid back series for half the time. But other times it was like, oh, whoa, you know? So it was very interesting that they took this approach, you know? I was like, Trigger, huh? You're not going over the top like Kill a Kill did, you know? That, that, that surprised me. But, man, I loved that moment. <laughs> between Yuta and Honoka, where she was like, I don't like cream, and he's like, why? And then she's like, I'm trying to get you fat so people won't, like, try to get you. And I'm like, oh, oh, she so likes him. And he, like, blushing a lot, and it was just like, oh, my goodness. And Chidori came to terms with um, Katsuhira and Nori-chan dating. She's fine with it, and she's been thinking a lot about Tenga lately, and I'm like, just love him, like, get over, or Katsuhira, I know it's gonna take a little while, but you need to start dating Tenka, because you two are just so cute together, I was like, yay, and Nico, you know, is not gonna give up on Tenka, um, and Katsuhira and Nori-chan were in the hospital, and the way it ended, though, was so strange, I was like, okay, so we're gonna get a little moment here, and then it's gonna roll the credits, right, but no, it just, like, played, and then, with a final smile from Nori-chan, if you could call that a smile, boom! Kiss Niver. Over. Not even an end card or anything like that, just boom. All done. All wrapped up in a nice little bow, and yeah, man, just what a great series. I so much enjoyed it, and if you haven't watched it yet, go watch Kiss Niver. I cannot stress that enough. Huh. What I would like to see, though, is something, maybe, like, a one episode OVA, just to kind of, I kind of want to see what happens after this. I'm kind of like, well, I know they go back to their normal lives and everything, but I'm just kind of interested to see that, you know? Oh, and also, the kids that were, um, you know, in those chairs that were Nordi chan and Katsuhita's friends, they're awake, and they're going to, I guess, you know, eventually get their senses back and all of that. It'll take a while, but they'll get it back, and that's nice. But... Man, his Niver just trigger. Man, did, uh, I, I was really sad not to see the opening song, though, in this episode, because I'm like, dang it, I really enjoyed that opening song. Not the best of the season, but pretty dang good. Really good opening. Oh, I'm going to miss it. I'm going to have to, like, find the entire full song whenever it comes out and listen to it nonstop, because that was a great opening. Oh, my goodness. Ending song was... Decent, decent, decent. Animation-wise, though, this anime was beautiful at some scenes. I was like, man... It's so pretty, but uh, Kiss Niver, so great. I have nothing else to say besides I just kind of want something like maybe a one episode OVA of like just them, you know, being friends after all of this happens, but we're probably not going to get that. 
but you know, as a whole series, it was very enjoyable. Um, I I really want to see more Kiznaiver, but as far as you know, Trigger's probably not going to do that. They might though. You never know. But anyway, Kiznaiver, enjoyable series. Loved the heck out of it. And yeah, that's all I got to say about Kiznaiver. So. I'll see you guys in whatever anime I'm going to review next. So I'll see you guys then, okay? Bye-bye!